This is a tutorial for Unreal Editor 2 for the original Unreal Tournament Game of the Year edition. In this video, we will cover sky boxes. In a previous video, I talked about texture properties. And so if I come up here to the ceiling, you come up here, you click on Surface Properties, and you will see that I checked Fake Backdrop. This is what you need for your skybox to appear inside of your map. However, the skybox itself that you build is not inside the map. It has to be a separate room. So let me show you how that's done. I've subtracted another room, which you can see here. and it's away from the actual map. So let's say your map was here in this area. I subtracted out another box up here, and it's also not on the same plane in any of my views. So you can see it there, and there, and it just makes it easier because you're building your map, let's say in this area, it just makes it easier that your skybox is away and easily spotted in case you need to make changes. So the key thing about the skybox is this actor, which is called Sky Zone Info. And how you get that is by going to your actor browser, Info, Zone Info, and then the Sky Zone. And you only need one per map. In some cases, there's two, but I won't get into that because this is a basic tutorial. But let's just say that you need one of these per map, and this needs to be in a separate room. Think of this actor as a camera, and when you're in the game, this camera is going to be oriented the same way the player is oriented. So if the player is looking up, then this sky zone will also be looking up. And if it's looking at the sides, then it's going to see these mountains here on the sides. So keep that in mind because you don't want these mountains, these mountain textures, to be too close to the camera. It's not going to look good in the game. You want them to be farther away. If you look at the official maps, the, the technique they use is to have These sheets are the separate pieces for the mountain texture, as an example, and each one of these is 256 width and then 128 height. But you need two of them, so you're going to have one here and the next piece here, and another one and the next piece. So imagine that each texture is 256 units, but I have two of them side by side, and then making a square. So altogether, this would be 512 by 512 with a height of 128. Then you put your sky zone actor in the middle, as you can see here, and that distance is a lot better for the mountains to look far away. Then you need the bottom piece, which is the ground, and that's this piece here. So you have these masked mountain textures, then the ground, and then in your larger box, which is this one here, that's just your sky. So in this case, it's a nighttime sky full of stars. Next, you will see this texture, which is a red cloud effect. And then finally, you can see here that I've added a moon. Now the moon is this texture here, and I've angled it. So if you look on this particular view, you can see how I put it at a approximately 45 degree angle. This is also a masked texture. And I made it translucent as well. So. Let's just recap all of the textures that I've used. I got them from Shane Sky. 
I took a moon texture, which is masked, and I made it translucent as well. I took one of these textures for the red cloud. Then you will see that any Skybox package will have four of these textures. One, two, three, four. And they all tile perfectly. So that's why you have to follow the dimensions that are rec recommended by the artist. Finally, this piece here is the ground texture. And then this is the sky full of stars texture. That's basically what you use when you subtract out your brush. So you have your sky zone info, you have a bottom ground texture, you have these mountain textures which are tiled one through four, and you have them going right across in a square that's ultimately going to be 512 units wide, 128 high. These are all masked textures. Two-sided is not necessary, but I do it just so that I can see it from either angle. So these are masked two-sided. Then for the cloud texture, I have translucent, so you can see through it. Two-sided, again, you don't need to have it two-sided, but I like to be able to see this from both angles. I have a little bit of a horizontal pan and finally I have a moon which is also masked two-sided and translucent and then you do the lighting as you normally would so in this case I have one light here and it's red and you reduce the radius its default is 64 I reduce this down to 20 so that this will lightly light up the clouds as well as the moon texture and then another one here as well because one light is not going to be enough to light this whole room so I have one here and one here and this one is also I believe red with a radius of 20. Now as you can see in this dynamic view the clouds are moving very slowly so one thing you need to do is when you come into your sky zone you can adjust the speed of your moving textures so here it is it is texture horizontal pan speed 0.3 instead of 1 and that makes it that makes the clouds go slower so we have everything in place. We have the sky zone info, the tiling mountains, the ground, the sky in the background, a nice translucent cloud texture which is red, and then a nice moon texture to go as well. The next thing I want to point out to you is that you can see how the moon texture is over here on the left. That means because your camera is here right in the middle so that means that in your map when you're standing here in the map your moon will also be appearing as if it's on the left because it's it's mimicking the player camera so keep that in mind as well when you build so we have everything ready to go let me just build to show you how this looks in the game so there you see it the moon is in the same orientation as the as the skybox and then you can see the transparent cloud slowly moving and you can see a hint of the night sky in the background as well so this was a very simple example i hope that you will spend more time on your skybox to make something look really good and i recommend that you take a look at some official maps in the editor and check out their sky boxes to see how it's done so what you need to do when you open up a map is use this icon here the binoculars search which is search for actors and then under the name you type in sky and then you will quickly when you double click on this it'll take you right to that actor so what you can do is for fun you can open up some of the official maps 
search for the sky zone actor that'll lead you to where their brush is for the sky box and you can take a look and see how they've constructed it obviously you don't want to copy what they've done it's just to give you that inspiration so before I leave I'm going to just give you a list of some official maps that you should take a look at depending on the type of sky box that you need